Right, uh, the weather's not too great at the minute. The fields are really boggy with mud, so I've come out into the wildlife, sort of hidden by the trees. Uh, it's raining a little bit today, about seven degrees. So we're gonna give it a go here for about a couple of hours, see what we find, and I'll see you on the first find. All right, see you in a bit. Right, first find of the day. Um, don't know, it could be a coin. It could even be Roman, I've given it a bit of a clean. It's definitely old. Not sure. I'll give it a better clean when I get home. Might have in, might have something on it, might have nothing on it. We'll see. Right, cool. Right, next find. Right, next target, just found a another coin. Could again potentially be Roman. Nowhere near the last one I've walked quite a bit. Yeah, it could be. Sweet. Right, next one. This could be another Roman. Just got that look and feel to it. Don't know, possibly. Right, we'll carry on. Right, just found one of these. These old ammunition things where the, the wick things sticking out the side. Right, next one. Right, next find, uh, I think it's just a really old half penny, sort of 70s, 60s, 1960s, 1970s. Right, next find. Right, I found uh, three coins just like this so far since the last one, and literally can't find anything on them. Well, right, I've just got back from a couple of hours in the woods, uh, didn't find too much, but I just wanted to get out and... Uh, have a little go while it wasn't raining too much and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry all of these with a hairdryer just to get all the damp out of them and then I'm going to brush over them with a fine toothbrush and see what we can find. Right, that's them pretty much dried out. Some of them are starting to show something coming through. Look, this one's got There's something on that. Some of these I suspect are Roman, but we're gonna find out very soon. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, right, I'm gonna get the brush and we'll get brushing. Right, I don't know where you can see that. It was definitely some sort of bust. Definitely a head there. Uh, the other side. Looks like there might have been some sort of figure. But I'm going to say that that's Roman. Just feels it. It's quite funny shape. It's not perfectly round. It's fatter in the middle. So yeah. Roman coin in the woods. Not bad, not bad. Right, so after scrubbing up all the coins, only this one actually had any detail at all left on it. Yeah, I wrote a letter online about a find of the month for Garrett, and they sent me a letter back saying, Dear Valued Garrett Customer, we appreciate your interest in Garrett Metal Detectors and your support of our brand. Loyal metal detectors such as yourself keep us in business. I sincerely appreciate you taking the time to send in a testimonial of your success with our products from Von Garrett's favourite find of the month contest. Such stories and photos are often used in our Garrett searches newsletter on our website and some even make it into our product catalogues, RAMs, books, publications or even consumer advertisements. Uh, we would like to offer you a simple token of our appreciation for your efforts. Feel free to submit another testimonial in the future when you make a great discovery. Happy hunting. Best regards. Steve Moore, Marketing Director, Garrett Metal Detectors. And this was sent to me from the States. As that was nice of them. They sent me a badge to put on something, which is pretty cool. So yeah, um, definitely something worth doing because even if you don't make it or if they do use your stuff, um, get a nice free badge, yay! Right, so I've just been over to the farmer's house. Um, really, if you haven't been on land for like a 
couple of weeks or whatever and you come back even if the ground doesn't look like anything's happened to it it's always best to go and check with the farmer say have you seeded the land yet is there anything going on am I still okay to crack on and yeah they'll give you the answer um, it's just told me it's fine so we're gonna head back down there now get some metal detecting I've got about three hours maybe four at a squeeze today I went out with a friend we um, drove around for about four hours I think it was and we were looking for metal detection permissions, went to about five farms, just no, 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 no. And um, you shouldn't let it ever sort of dishearten you when you're going around looking and you can just keep getting rejections, no, no, no. Because uh, we came across another little, it's only a little farm, um, still in a nice area, really, really pretty. Um, so the woman there, we spoke to her for a bit. And she was like, yeah, I'll have to speak to my husband or whatever. And then he turned up and we had a chat and both really nice people. And they said, yeah, just give us your details. Phone us up when you're going to come and um, you can have a little go up there. And yeah, man, I can't wait for that. Um, it's along a pilgrim's way. It's quite a bit of history. And the guy did say that when he went, he was walking up his land and he got to the top of brow and he found a Roman coin on the surface. So God, God knows what's there, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So anyway, let's go and crack on and meet you down on the field. Right, so it's going to be a little bit breezy today. There might be a bit of wind noise here and there. And I'm going to get my boots on, because I've got trains on at the minute. And we're going to get out there in that nice bit of mud and hopefully find some stuff. Right, I'll see you on the first find. See you in a bit. Right, first signal of the day. Um, Let's find out what it is. Ooh. Hey. What's going on here? Alright, first signal of the day, it's a massive chunk of lead. Right next. Right next signal is a, a button. Not much on it, but it's a button. Right next. Right next find just literally come out of the ground. Uh, oh, is that a? God, it's tiny if it is. It's like a mini. Uh, candle thing you know the to put the candles out with right, I've found one of these before a bit bigger than this though well, a lot bigger than this but yeah that's quite nice it's probably Victorian Georgian no nah, maybe not anyway we'll clean it up when we get home show you it in a bit more detail but yeah sweet right next find we have a button I think Oh yeah, it's got something on it. Let's just give that a quick rub. Oh yeah. Nice. Shank's missing, but yeah, it's still a nice little bun. Right, let's carry on, see you in a bit. Right, we've got another find here. Uh, I think it's a lead token, I did see it kind of fall out. It's got that right. The thickness is there. So a little look. Oh yeah, lovely, look at that. Beauty. Yeah, plain on the back. Nice flower design, nice little medieval token. Sweet. Right, uh, we have a coin, we have a coin, we have a coin. How old are you? Yeah. Oh yeah, 1928, it's a farthing, beautiful, very nice, alright, right, I'm going to stop for a little bit of lunch now, sun's come out, it's a beautiful day, no better than the last couple of days where it's just been sleety, snowy, 
Right, see you in a bit. Right, I just found this. I think it's another button. Yeah. Looks a little bit like one I found earlier today. But I'm nowhere near where I was then. Oh yeah, it's got something on it. Nice. Bit of detail there, bit of detail. Right, moving on. Oh, I've got another button. Right, just found this uh, little soldier. Uh, not sure what that's made of. Could be made of lead. Could be made of pewter. Cool, right, next. Oh, I just found uh, this, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. I think it might be a, a squash round, like kind of button. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got a loop at the top. It's weird though. Yeah, so that's that one. Right, next. Right, next find is a uh, Emmasked ball. Right, next find, uh, just found this. I'm not sure what it is. It looks relatively old. It's got a weird patina on it. Um, sun's going down. Not got much time left. But yeah, that's interesting little object right there. Da -da -da -da. So yeah, whatever that is. If anyone's got any ideas on that. Looks cool though. It does look quite cool. Nice. Right, I'm um, going to carry on for a little bit more. I think I've just found something pretty sexy. It's pretty ornate. Whoa. What a year. It's definitely got some age to it. Um, it's hollow inside. I can feel that already. Hmm. Yeah, man. What is it? Who knows what that is? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty different. Sweet. Don't know how well you can see that in the light. I'll try. There you go. What was that used for? So it's got holes going along it as well as as well as that bit. That's another all right find. Anyway, sun's going down still, so I'm still heading back to the car. All right, got another another musket ball. <laughs> Sweet. Right guys, welcome to the roundup. I'm going to get through this as quick as possible. So we got two bullet casings, two musket balls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons. This one is a hollow button and it's pretty light, it's been squished. Then we got these two. Uh, these are both identical, they were found about 800 meters apart from each other. But they're still exactly the same. Both got things missing on the backs. Then we've got this pewter. Uh, could even be gunmetal. I don't know. It just feels slightly heavy. But it is hollow. So maybe pewter. Uh, soldier. we got the medieval lead token. Plenty of them I've found in the past. And we got the Victorian candle snuff. That was nice. George the second half penny. George the fifth farthing. 1928, I think it was. Uh, I found this little thing at the right at the end. I uh, didn't even video this. I think it says three penny or threepence. Uh, 1936 it feels really cheap and nasty like almost like toy money it's horrible um, anyway so we got lead um, this is scrappy scrappy scrap scrap 
more lady bits, more lady bits, uh, horse brass, and this which could have been a really old spoon, but it's really thin. I'm not sure quite what that was. Feels spoony, and uh, some pulley system, and a bit of shrapnel, and then we have here this is a spur fitting end I think um, so yeah would have gone on the end of some spur fitting and then this little baby this is a medieval dagger shape or chape I don't know how you pronounce it c-h-a-p-e so yeah this is a uh, Definitely the coolest find of the day to think that was on a dagger of someone roaming around in medieval times. So yeah, that's cool. So I might give that area another go and see if we can find anything else because both of these bits were quite close to each other. Um, everything else was just spread out all over the shop. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on my next video. I dig the high tone.